The programme at the festival is almost a year-round process that you start looking for things very early. You're at festivals kind of gauging what the big talking point films are, constantly looking for things that you kind of think, oh, that's, that's a bit different, that's a bit original. Maybe uh, a new filmmaker that you kind of think this person is really going to go places. So all that kind of goes on kind of throughout the whole 12 months between festivals, really. Well, we're really lucky at Glasgow Film Festival. The audiences are so diverse from modern families right through to artist film and video through crossing the line. We literally have something for everyone. The city itself has so much to offer. It's such a centre for the arts and culture, such a vibrant music scene, such a vibrant art scene, and we're very much part of that. In Glasgow, we're spoilt for choice in terms of venues we can use. We've got a fabulous city. The city's got some great venues that have never been used for cinema. That's almost both a challenge and an opportunity to bring these venues to cinema and bring cinema to these venues. I think every year, year on year, we've had more and more guests because that's, that's what you want from a festival. You want to actually talk to the people that make it. And people do have very lively Q&As after the films. And it is a real kind of engagement. The audiences do get to meet the filmmakers and speak to them and just get to talk about their work. I'm so pleased we're in Glasgow for the, for the premiere of the film because this is my old manor. You know, they, we used to get cheap seats when we took our student matriculation card up to the GFT and I saw all sorts of things there and so it's a place that means a lot to me. I'm really really honoured uh, to receive this award and I'm very very grateful so thank you Glasgow and it's really giving me hope and uh, courage and I'm determined to continue making uh, films about women uh, seen through women's eyes. Thank you. <laughs> It's something the filmmakers have always mentioned to me, that our audiences ask the best questions. They're very knowledgeable, they're very smart, they understand cinema and they know what they want to ask and they get asked the best questions. And I, did, I just really right. would like to th thank Alan and Alison oh, uh, sure. at the Glasgow Film Festival <laughs> because it's really, you know, festivals are so important to showing work and showing this diverse work and you just get such great audiences and real audiences, so thank you very much. It's like the naughty teenager of film festivals, I think. We do these kind of events that really kind of push the envelope that you certainly wouldn't see at some of the other film festivals. The special events are an amazing part of our programme. Empire partnered this year with um, Glasgow Film Festival on a Lost Boys secret screening and I have to say I've loved the audiences here. It took a little bit of getting used to as a girl from London but let me just say that the audiences in Glasgow are some of the most receptive um, and passionate I think I've probably seen anywhere and they're clearly having an absolutely fantastic time. So it's a way for audiences to participate in the festival, be introduced to the festival. I've noticed over the years people would start at a special event but then have migrated to come to maybe 10 or 12 films after that and it's part of the whole ethos of the festival. The audience are the most important people at the event. Yeah.